Hello, good day to all the listeners out there. Uh, by the way, this podcast is uh, from the Golden Society of Arcane Wisdom Initiates. And I'd like you to know that uh, this is going to be the first uh, first, um, first episode uh, of the podcast. It's going to be a series of podcasts that uh, I'm going to do for the Golden Society of Arcane Wisdom Initiates. So, by the way, what is the Golden Society of Arcane Wisdom Initiates? Well, uh, it is an organization, all right? It is a, an esoteric group. And uh, what we do is uh, we are a group of men and women who are dedicated to the, to the study and the practice of what we call the esoteric arts and sciences. So later, I'm going to tell you more about uh, those esoteric arts and sciences. Okay, by the way, I just want to give... Uh, a brief uh, information about myself. Uh, my name is Sonamra. Uh, that is my uh, mystical and magical name, if you will. All right. So it uh, you you may say that it's my uh, spiritual name as well. Sonamra is actually a a name that was given to me. First, Sonam is the name that was given to me by my teacher in the tantric uh, Buddhist tradition, and then the Ra is the the name that is uh, gotten from the from the name of the ancient Egyptian deity Ra okay so um, the the golden society of arcane wisdom initiates is uh, like i said it's uh, is an organization it's a mystical school okay and uh, you may also say that it is a fraternal organization and what we do is we study first the, the philosophy of different traditions, different spiritual traditions, and then we study the philosophy of nature. Okay, we study the the universal laws of the universe. Okay, and how we will be able to benefit from those uh, universal laws. Okay, so I'd like you to know that uh, you, the, the Golden Society of Arcane Wisdom Initiates is a non-sectarian uh, group, which means that uh, we, are not, we are not limited to one spiritual tradition. Okay, um, although we focus mainly on, on the Western mysteries, uh, what, it, what we call the Hermetic Sciences, also the Kabbalah and Alchemy, and then... With the Eastern uh, teachings, we focus on the teachings of yoga, tantra, and the uh, inner alchemy of the Taoists. Okay, so um, for for my uh, background, like I said, my name is uh, Sonam Ra, and sometimes people call me the Renegade Philosopher. So why Renegade Philosopher? Uh, later on, you uh, you're gonna know why. Um, I'm being called the renegade philosopher, okay? But for now, I want to tell you a little something about my uh, background in this, in this, um, in this uh, society or in this uh, field. I started uh, joining and started uh, getting serious into the study and practice of the esoteric arts and sciences. When I was, uh, I think, 20, 20 years old, so that was 14 years ago. But even before that, uh, I already read, nagbabasa na ako ng mga books about spirituality and uh, philosophy. And I remember even from an early age, marami na akong tanong uh, about the world, about, uh, about the existence, about God. Uh, you know, philosophical questions na hindi masagot ng, ng usual uh, priest or pastor. And from there, because, because of my uh, yearning for knowledge, of understanding, uh, I, I always pray that uh, na madagdagan yung understanding ko of the, of the universe, of the world that we live in, understanding of myself understanding of uh, God, what God is, and uh, what's my relationship to God. And eventually, because of my yearning, because of my seeking, because of being a seeker, I was able to, you know, find my way, 
find my way into a group a group that uh, uh, it's an initiatory uh, society order okay and what they do is uh, they they study they delve into the philosophy of nature and they, they study how how things work uh, the universal principles and all that so from there my, my journey started and I've been I've been uh, seriously studying and practicing the esoteric arts and sciences for probably 14 to 15 years now and right now uh, the reason why I'm starting this channel and this podcast is for me to be able to to share the knowledge and understanding that I got from the teachings to reach more people because uh, the Philippines usually groups like this they operate na uh, patago in secret okay not because they are they are hiding something bad okay but because uh, ideally um, well conventionally and traditionally uh, these kind of groups really operate secretly why because there are a lot of uh, teachings that uh, kumaga not compatible for for the for the masses na hindi may intindihan people will not be able to understand the the teachings the philosophy because they are not yet ready their minds are not yet ready but you know what the reason why i'm starting this podcast and uh, and broadcasting it through the internet is because i also believe in the in the law of uh, you know a law of the the idea of um uh, being ready for it if, if you're ready for it if someone is ready for it then he's he's gonna he or she is gonna be led to this teaching okay to this podcast to this lesson and if someone does not have the the karma okay the good karma to hear this or if in their present uh, level of evolution is they don't need to hear these kind of teachings then they're not gonna be led to this uh to these teachings okay well um there's there's a saying in the esoteric circles uh, in the esoteric world uh, that when the student is ready the teacher appears so I, I firmly believe in that so the reason why you are listening to this right now is because you are ready for this kind of knowledge this kind of understanding siguro nagtatanong ka na din sa sarili mo you have a lot of questions na hindi masagot ng ng pare or hindi masagot ng pastor nyo and hindi masagot ng, ng usual na, na tinuturo sa atin every Sunday so that's why you're, you're searching you're a seeker and that's also the reason why nandito ko ngayon because if you're not a seeker hindi mo makikita itong lesson na to hindi mo makikita itong page na to or hindi mo makikita itong podcast na to so I firmly believe in that okay so what what else? Um, like I said, the uh, the Golden Society of Arc and Wisdom Initiates is an esoteric group. So I'd I'd like to discuss more about that. Uh, what do you, what do we mean by arcane? Arcane wisdom. Arcane simply means uh, secret or something known by a select few. Okay, and uh, the the society is in possession of a vast uh, amount of secret teachings okay and these teachings are not really published okay so i know there are a lot of books out there about the uh, new age and all that uh, kind of shit you know <laughs> by the way well, please forgive me if i if i talk like that it's just the way i am okay but uh we're not hurting anyone so it's it's okay to speak like that okay <laughs> so like I said, the society is in possession of uh, secret teachings. So these kind of teachings has been passed down from generation, generation to generation, from master to student since ancient times. Of course, a lot of teachings has been published, but uh, those teachings are only touching, you know, scratching the surface. And in our society, you will be able to, to get the complete teachings okay like i said uh, the tradition that i hold the tradition that i belong to 
is a combination of Western and Eastern. In, in the Western mystery tradition, uh, there are what you call the, the hermetic sciences, hermeticism, okay? And then the, the Kabbalah. Kabbalah is actually the, the most secret teachings of Judaism, of the, the patriarchs. Uh, if you think of Moses, uh, King Solomon, King David, and of course the, the Lord Jesus Christ, they are all... Uh, Proponents, okay? They they are all um, philosophers of the Kabbalah, okay? And there there is also what we call the alchemy. Alchemy is uh, is a transmutation. It's a science of transmutation. But we do not deal with uh, physical transmutation here, like transmutation of lead into physical gold. No, ang alchemy na pinag-usapan natin dito is an inner alchemy a transmutation of our baser elements into gold okay so there are a lot of, there are a lot of uh, things to transform in ourselves starting from our emotions okay and our thoughts and then our inner energy so later on i'm going to tell you more about that but i just like to to give you a, a brief over, overview about that and then uh, we also give the well the esoteric teachings of uh, esoteric Christianity, if you will. As we know, the, the church, the Catholic church and uh, the Protestant church, well, from our point of view, they actually inherited what we call the exoteric, okay? Because in, in every tradition, uh, mapa Eastern man yan or Western, laging may tinatawag na esoteric and exoteric. So, when you say esoteric, this, these are the inner teachings and the exoteric are the outer teachings. So the, the church inherited the exoteric teachings. <clears throat> Although some priests, well, a lot of priests in, in the Vatican are also aware of the esoteric teachings, but they do not teach it to the public. Okay? That's the reason why uh, mga tao ngayon is only the exoteric, which is the, the outer teachings. I don't know, for some reason, they, they want to, to keep it from the masses. Um, we're not saying that they have anything, any, any bad intention about that. Maybe they also of the, of the belief na hindi pa lahat ng teachings is, uh, maga, hindi, hindi pa ready lahat ng humanity to receive the, the inner teachings. That's why <clears throat> they are trying to, to keep it from the from the masses but if you search um, well enough if you're really a seeker then even in the catholic church uh, you will be able to find these esoteric teachings that i'm talking to if if you read about um, if you read the works of of the mystical christians like uh, saint john of the cross and uh, saint teresa of avila so their their teachings are more towards the mystical side of uh, Christianity okay so it's more the mysticism of Christianity so th those are the sabi na nating higher teachings that not all of us have access to or baga hindi natin binabasa or we don't we don't uh, give uh, attention to, to those kind of teachings okay but uh, in our society like I said uh, we are not sectarian so we are in the in the stance, in the in the belief that uh, there's no, there shouldn't be any difference between between uh, different religious traditions because these different religious traditions actually came from one same source, okay, one God. We just call it by different names. Uh, the Muslims call it by by the name of Allah. The Jews call it by the name of Jehovah or Yahweh, same as the Christians, and. Uh, the Hindus call it by the name Brahman, and then the the Buddhists, especially the Tantric Buddhists, they have this uh, idea of the absolute. Uh, well, they they have the idea of Dharmakaya, Dharmata, so it's basically the same thing. As we go on through these uh, lectures, I'm gonna explain to you more about those uh, topics. Okay, but uh, for now, what I want you to to understand is. What we want to do here is that we want to foster peace and harmony 
harmonious coexistence between different religious traditions. Because if, if you understand the reason why I'm saying that uh, all these religious traditions are actually united, you know, at the very core of their teachings, there's unity. Nagkakaroon lang ng difference, nagkakaroon lang ng, ng variety at the outer level, at the, at the exoteric level. Because there are different names, different doctrines, okay, different dogmas. But if, if you really go to the very core teachings of every tradition, you will find unity in it. And again, there, there's no reason to, to fight other religions, okay? So, what is the benefit? What are the benefits of, uh, of you know, being, being a member of our society? Or, kahit hindi ka pa member, if you just listen to, to this uh, series of podcasts that I'm gonna be doing, what are the benefit for you? Of course, um, first is, I will teach you ways, techniques on how to develop your higher per- perception, higher sense perception, okay? So, it's more on the development of your intuition, okay? And the development of your hidden abilities, hidden human potentials. If, if you do a research, uh, there's actually a research na sinasabi na um, we humans only use, I think, less than 10% ng, ng mind natin or ng brain natin. Even the great Einstein, uh, when he died... Uh, a group of scientists uh, dissected his brain and they found out that uh, Einstein was only using I don't know I'm really not sure about the the percentage but not even 50% of his brain capacity I think not not even 30% of his brain capacity so even even a genius like Einstein is not yet using the the full uh, potential of his of his mind okay and I want you to understand that uh, Einstein is also a, you know, uh, he is also a student of this kind of these kind of teachings. He's also a student of mysticism. So even even though he is a scientist, he is also a student of mysticism, because one one thing that you're gonna learn here is that in our teachings, our teachings is is actually a. A bridge between uh, spirituality and science. For the longest time, sinasabi natin there's there's a gap, there's a difference between science and spirituality. Okay, but in our teachings, uh, you're you're gonna find out that uh, there's actually uh, unity as well. Especially right now that science is going to the realm of uh, like quantum physics, which actually explains a lot of the the spiritual or philosophical uh, traditions back back in the days from uh, philosophies and spiritual traditions from the ancient days are being are being um, explained through the science of uh, quantum physics so later on i'm going to discuss as well uh, what, what is the relationship between spirituality and quantum physics? Although I'm, I do not claim that I am an expert in, in quantum physics, of course. That is a hard subject. But th- there are a lot of findings in quantum physics that ordinary, ordinary people like us will be able to understand. And okay, it will give uh, meaning, more meaning to our lives. And a shift of understanding. It's going to give us a shift of understanding of what we believe the world to be, how we see the world, how we see ourselves, and how we see ourselves in the relations with the with the universe and with God. Okay, so we also teach uh, processes, uh, techniques on how to how to achieve your goals by the by the science or the art of ceremonial magic. Okay. But I want you to know that this magic is not the kind of magic that the mentalists or illusionists do. You know, the magic tricks, you know, hindi ganon. What we do is what we call high magic. High magic is something that uh, you can do first for the purpose of uniting yourself with the divine or what we call communion, divine communion. And then what there's also what we call practical magic. 
So practical magic is a uh, is a science. is a is a is a system that you can you can use in order for you to to in order for it to aid you to help you in achieving your goals. So you may have goals in your studies or in your sport or in your business, okay, or in your profession. So learning the the art of uh, high magic will really help you. Um, I'm sure you have you have watched the movie The Secret, and you have heard the term law of attraction. Okay, wherein uh, we are being asked to be positive, and then visualize, be be certain about our goals, visualize, and then uh, be certain that you're gonna receive it. It's actually part of the the esoteric teachings, but the teachings on law of attraction is is just a small part of the overall teachings. That is the reason why and daming and dami dito sa atin, they they have heard the law of attraction, they have used the the techniques being taught, but wala pa siya, wala, walang success in what they do. It's because their understanding, their knowledge is limited. It's it, ano pa, kulang pa. So that's the reason why if, if you're into into the law of attraction and the secret, you would want to listen to this uh, series of podcasts. Nasa gayon ay um Patagdagan yung knowledge mo, patagdagan yung understanding mo, and malaman mo kung, kung ano, ano pa yung other laws, universal laws, not just law of attraction. Because law of attraction is just one of the many universal laws. Okay, so aside from achieving your goals, uh, we also teach healing methods. So there are different kinds of uh, healing modalities, but uh, these are what we call alternative healing. And in our society, what we teach is more natural way of healing of course we, we teach uh, nutrition and and all of that exercises but what we also teach is what we call the energetic healing how to use energy to heal yourself or others so the, this this energy is actually called in it, it is called in in the Chinese tradition or in the Taoist tradition as Qi okay and in, in Reiki, it is called Qi, I think, Qi. So, that came from the Qi of the Chinese. So, namana ng mga Japanese. So, the Japanese called it Qi. And the, the Reiki is actually from Japan, I think. So, it is, it, is a, it is a system of healing na ginagamit natin is the unseen forces that surrounds us. Okay, because uh, dito sa mundong ginagalawa natin, there are unseen forces unseen energies that we can learn how to tap to tap into and then uh, learn how to to harness all right and then of course you're gonna you're gonna develop your philosophical understanding philosophical understanding of yourself of the world that we live in of the universe your understanding of uh, divine things your understanding of God, what God is, what's, what's the nature of God, and your understanding of uh, our relationship to God, man's relationship to God. And basically, you, you will have a deeper understanding of life. And as a result, uh, it comes with that is a deeper appreciation of our life. Okay? Uh, and of course, the, the greatest goal of our, of our society of our brotherhood is the goal of illumination or enlightenment or awakening okay so for now i'm not gonna talk more about the 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 goal of illumination or enlightenment but in the future lessons i'm gonna talk more on that okay but i just want you to know that those are the the things that you're gonna get if you join our brotherhood organization or just simply by listening to the to the lessons that I'm gonna be doing through these uh, podcasts okay and by the way who are uh, allowed or you know who can join our society anyone that is uh, above the age of 18 years old men or women or if you are in the <laughs> On the what they call this, hindi ka men, hindi ka hindi ka lalaki, hindi ka babae. 
<laughs> so if you're a member of the LGBT, you are also welcome. Okay, because you know uh, here we do not uh, condemn anyone because uh, we believe that we believe that uh, everyone deserves to be happy and everyone is uh, you know is loved by God. Everyone is a child of God, regardless of your sexual preference. But of course, we do not promote the you know the activities or whatever na ginagawa. It, it's a it's a deep it, it's a complex uh, topic that I don't want to discuss right now. But simply what I'm what I want to say right now is that uh, anyone can join us if you're someone who has a progressive uh, mind. Okay, you are not a sectarian. Um, you do not you do not have the belief that uh, your religion is the only true religion in the world. So you are welcome. And if you're someone who is a seeker, you know that there's something na hindi mo pa naiintindihan and there's something na gusto mong maintindihan about the about the world that we live in about yourself, then this this society is the one that is uh, right for you. Okay? Because I know for the longest time you na nakikinig ngayon, you have been questioning a lot of things in this life. Marami kang tanong, marami kang katanungan sa sarili mo, marami kang katanungan sa Diyos na hindi mo mabigyan ng kasagutan. And through the lessons of the order of the society, you will be able to have a deeper understanding of that. Okay, so like I said, um, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So it's all about the the connection of souls. Here in this world, uh, people people uh, group themselves based on interests, okay. And if you're someone na who is also interested in 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 learning these kind of teachings, you better join our society because uh, this is a society of like-minded people and kumbaga ito yung society of connected souls kindred souls if you will uh, there, there is a deeper teaching about that uh, kumbaga sinabi ko na kanina di ba lahat kayo na nakikinig ngayon the reason why you are listening this right now listening to this right now is because meron tayong connection okay our souls have connection and you want to know more for yourself that's why i invite you to listen to these series of lessons and if, if you want we are organizing um, seminars and uh, workshops and lectures and we also have uh, <clears throat> we have regular meetings every sunday so in in these meetings uh, we we group ourselves so that we can do spiritual work and then practical work as well okay so this is basically just uh, the joy of being with like-minded people because i i know that some of you who are listening to this right now and who are interested in in esoteric teachings t- teachings like this well new age teachings in, in, you cannot come out hindi niyo masabi sa mga friends niyo yung thoughts niyo because you are afraid that your friends will not be able to understand you and they will see you as someone who is weird, right? They will be creeped out. So, ikaw, you are in the closet. You are in the closet and you are not telling anyone that you have an interest about this. But, you know what? For you to develop the, the understanding, you have to have people na lagi mo nakakausap about these kind of teachings so that it, it will grow from within. So if, if you want to have that uh, group of people na pwede mong pagtanungan and then pagsabihan ng thoughts and ideas mo, then you are welcome to our group. Okay? You are welcome to our society. So once again, I, I welcome all of you and I hope to, to be with you again in the next uh, series of lessons. So see you again next time.